Hi, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> and a happy Dasa to one and all. <clears throat> so, during last class, we have completed about the pure uh, uh, elements, I mean, pure um, physical, I mean, chemical compounds. And then today, we will go with the mixtures, right? So, <clears throat> Mixtures, the name itself indicates what are mixtures, right? So, mixtures are nothing but more than two compounds, one we can say. If you, if I say sugar is a mixture, then it will be very wrong. Why? Because it is a single component. So, if I mix the sugar with, uh, I mean, any other uh, component, like you can say water, you can say any other uh, components. If I mix it with other thing, that means two compounds should be there then only one we can say about the mixture so dear student before going to the mixtures and it, its type see let us see, uh, see some examples say for example there is a vessel in that vessel there is some amount of water in that water i am adding a mud right and now there is one more vessel and in that vessel the same water is there and in that I am adding what? Sugar or salt. You can take anything. Right? <clears throat> so say this is a case A and this is case B. So now see here what I said if I mix one component with the other then only one we can say that is a mixture right to the single component one we cannot say it is a mixture when we say compound or a molecule in the last class during last class we saw that uh, that right when we can say that is a what a compound or a molecule depending on the uh, uh, I, I mean elements mm, combining element if the same element are combined then molecule if the different they are compound if the same element is present, I mean same substance is present, then that is called as an element. Likewise. So now here we are adding two different compounds and we are mixing it. So that's why these are contents, these are uh, definitely these are the mixtures. But in mixture, see here, one we can uh, uh, what classify these mixture into two types, right? See what I did in case one. I have added some mud, right? And in second one, I mean in B, I have added sugar. What happens in case of A is here, one we cannot clearly see, right? The mud, uh, mud and water mixing, right? So there is a mixture definitely, but it is not distributed uh, what completely, and it is not distributed all over these solvent uh, constantly, right? I mean uh, completely. That's why what we are seeing after some time the mud will come and deposit at the bottom of this vessel, right? That means, see here, one we can see the two different solvent or solute, uh, I mean, two different things in this transparent vessel. Is it or not? Right? Understood. I mean, after some time, it is not equally distributing overall, uh, uh, I mean, the amount of water uh, solvent uh, as a solvent, what we took, it is not distributing constantly. After some time, what is happening? The mud is settling down, settling down at the, uh, I mean, at the bottom of the vessel, transparent vessel, and clearly one we can see what mud and water separation. That means it is not same overall. That means what we can say heterogeneous mixture, right? Heterogeneous mixture. Hetero means what different we are seeing two different or not 
right in this case two different uh, mixtures are separating i mean two different mixtures one we can say very easily in case of what a this is one type of mixture that is called as heterogeneous mixture and coming to the next one that is after adding sugar after some time what happens right uh, once uh, one one we can uh, what mix it right after mixing what is happening it is distributing equally overall uh, into the solvent and now after after 5 or 10 minute so uh, after so duration of time what is happening one we cannot uh, uh, identify whether sugar has gone why because the water molecule has completely reacted with the sugar and it is completely distributed throughout the uh, uh, what this solvent so that's why now one we cannot say whether it is a mixture or what why because completely it is spreaded over uh, uh, through the uh, what water so now uh, we cannot uh, uh, differentiate it it is a mixture actually but one we cannot uh, separate it. it it looks like what single uh, uh, thing that means same therefore this type of mixtures are called as homogeneous homo means same right already you studied these things so homo means same so these are the two type of mixtures one we can say homogeneous and heterogeneous type of sugars uh, yeah, i mean <laughs> mixtures sorry mixtures so in heterogeneous one we can separate or one we can say different uh, what um, separate uh, mixings right mud we can clearly see as well as water water also one we can see very clearly but in case of this i mean in b what is happening the sugar and water molecule they are reacting and <coughs> and the sugar is spreading equally or distributing equally into the water so that's why that water looks like a same i mean the mix even though it is a mixture but it looks a single component so that's why uh, that's why we call this as a homogeneous type of mixtures right so in mixtures mixture means there must be a two and more compounds after these two and more compounds right in a you know, two or more compound if we mix then definitely those type of things are called as mixtures and in mixtures we can classify these mixture into two categories one is homogeneous one we can say uh, uh, before heterogeneous or else heterogeneous and the homogeneous type of mixtures right can you have uh, uh, a definition about these right so mixtures are classified into two category number one we will go with the homogeneous homogeneous mixture so try to understand the uh, the meaning of this uh, i mean homo homo means same right homo means same so uh, same means say for example here uh, uh, in 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 the particular room, if we say the air is equally distributed, right? That means air is not uh, more here, and air is uh, a little bit lesser there at that corner. Or one we cannot say everywhere, every corner, and every part of this room is having same amount of oxygen. Right? So that means equally distributed in the environment. So that's why one we can say homogeneous. Homo means same. Everywhere it is same. So likewise, homogeneous are nothing but the components completely mix with the components. You can say the components. Components completely. mix with each other completely mix with each other and its composition is and its composition is 
and its composition is <clears throat> uniform uniform throughout throughout <clears throat> composition is uniform throughout so example examples are like as i said sugar solution in tomorrow's class we will see what are solution solvent solute right sugar solution and a right as i said a a is equally distributed uniformly so now if you are if you have not understood this then what we can say components the components completely mix definitely we saw in case of b type of uh, example completely the sugar is mixing with uh, water molecule one point and com composition is uniform composition means uh, the amount the amount is uniform throughout right so the such type of mixtures are called as homogeneous mixtures so coming to heterogeneous mixture number 2 number 2 heterogeneous mixture number 2 heterogeneous mixture hydrogen hydrogen hydro means different so here itself one we can understand hydro means different the composition is not uniform throughout right directly one we can say the composition is the composition composition means amount the composition is not uniform uniform means equal uniform throughout throughout and sometimes different components can absorb and sometimes different components different components can absorb right so example again the same example you can take sugar and sand sugar and sand or else one you can say salt and sugar Or else, what I took one example that is water and mud. You can say these these are these, these type of mixtures are called as what heterogeneous type of mixtures. So this is all about today's class. During next class, we will uh, see some sol what is solution, solvent, solute, and then thereafter we will see some again basic things: mass, weight, volume, density. Right? You already studied uh, in in your physics. And also when we will go once again, right, with the chemistry. Thank you.